The fashion industry is dedicated to making people look good, but designers and famous names really went all out at a gala in New York City last night. The event honored one of fashion's superpowers. Michelle Miller was on hand for the display of modern elegance. I think she brought some of it back this morning. Uh, Hello, Michelle Miller. Nice you look like modern elegance I to tried. me. I tried. Who designed that dress? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Bought it in the airport. Well, good morning, everyone. It was a day full of fashion celebrities and a night full of white tie and ball gowns. And no matter who they were wearing on the red carpet, they were there to recognize the art of design. It's fashion's biggest night. I, I relish the idea of the dress up. It's, it's the most glamorous night of the year anywhere. It blows the Oscars away. Beyonce! The Metropolitan Museum of Art's Costume Institute Gala, or Met Gala for short, has become the hottest ticket among A-listers, thanks to one woman. Vogue editor-in-chief Anna Winter. Anna just doesn't stand for Vogue or a magazine. It's an institution herself, and she she has been the biggest champion for designers like me and new designers. Since taking charge of the gala 16 years ago, the elusive fashion powerhouse has completely transformed the museum benefit, raising $125 million for the institute. After a two-year, $40 million renovation, the costume wing of the Met was reopened open Monday as the Anna Winter Center and the Queen of Couture was honored by fashion royalty <laughs> including First Lady Michelle Obama. I'm here because I am so impressed by Anna's contributions not just to the fashion industry but to the many causes she shares and cares about particularly this great American museum. This inaugural exhibition pays tribute to the late designer Charles James. It's a very short list of designers that you want to launch the Anna Winter Costume Center with. I mean, that's a big deal. <laughs> it is a big deal. He was one of the few designers who in his lifetime felt that what he did was art. The center will feature some 75 of James's most notable designs from the 1920s until the late 70s. Winter paid homage to the designer by making the gala's dress code an ultra formal white tie. And while not everyone was following the rules, every design on the red carpet was clearly a work of art. And everybody's here and everybody's out and everybody's looking fabulous and it's, um, you know, it's a great thing to be part of. Well, Anna Wintour raised the price of entry for each guest. Last year, it was about $10,000. This year, it was bumped up to $25,000. All money earned goes back to the Costume Institute, needless to say, a little too rich for my blood. So here's <laughs> my moment. <laughs> and you did you wear it wear that well. dress well. Yes, you do. Yeah, Thanks, too. Michelle. I love looking at all the dresses. Sarah Jessica Parker, perfection. Mm -hmm. Carolina Kornikova, we saw her picture over there. Great. I love looking. Sean Penn and Johnny Depp. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Finished. the men look good, too. Yes. They look good, too.